This video is about my experience of MSQA interview at ISI Kolkata. Welcome back to Honey of Knowledge and in this video I will tell you all the things which I went through for my interviews at ISI MSQE Kolkata. Now starting from day 0. Day 0, uh, I don't remember the exact date but yes day 0 was some day in the month of June. I packed my bags and took a flight from Mumbai to Kolkata. After reaching Kolkata airport, I took a cab to ISI. Now that journey from cab to ISI was quite unique and I felt like I am not going to a college for interview process. I felt like going to my home and I don't know why I felt like that but I felt like that and once I reached ISI Kolkata main gate, uh, I asked the security guard that I had made a request for hostel accommodation for my interviews. They guided me to the room. The room which I got was not in the ground floor. So I had to take stairs with my luggage to up. And once I entered the room, the best thing which I thought about was that this looks like a single occupancy room. Yay! But the moment the realization dawned me that I have still not qualified. This is an interview process which I have came for. I realized that it's still not yours. You have to qualify one more round. So I started preparing. I had a lot of books. My luggage essentially was books only because I came only for two days and for two days you don't need a lot of luggage. So my luggage was books and I thought that I will read all of them. But truth being told, I was hardly able to read like one or two hours in the whole day. But keeping those things aside, uh, the food around ISI Kolkata is not that great. So yes, that's something which you would not find good. But that's okay. That's a bit of sacrifice you have to take. You have to go through, you have to give to take. So uh, the day zero went, now the day one or rather the second day and the day of interview. I had also brought my formals with me. So I just put on my formals and uh, started to go towards the ISI building and I found out how to navigate to the MSQ department. Now once I entered the MSQ department, I saw that there are only parents sitting all around. So I realized that am I late that all candidates have gone in. So I uh, understood that uh, actually the interview process for the first phase, I was in the afternoon slot. So the morning slot was also going around. So uh, while the morning slot was going around, uh, I thought that let me just wait so that other candidates will come and then we will uh, go to the to our respective uh, rooms and then our interviews will start. But luckily, I also met a person who was uh, supposed to attend the morning slot uh, in day zero. So that person recognized me while uh, she was coming back and she just told me that uh, our interviews are almost done. You should go somewhere uh, to that side. She just, she just directed me to a uh, location, a room basically. So I went to that room and I found that the room was filled with candidates for my slot and they were just completing the documentation process. And I, I just realized that thanks a lot I found out this found out this. Because in ISI Kolkata what happens is you have to find information. Information won't come to you, you have to source it. Uh, that is something which you should learn if you want to get into ISI. So that was a good thing which happened. Then I went to that room, I completed documentation and then we were queued up and then uh, taken to that interview room and I was the first person to get inside that room. So I was called by the professor. Now initially I thought that the professor uh, is not a professor, he is a research scholar because he was a very young professor and uh, after that what happened was the interview started. They started asking me all sorts of questions. Now, not exactly all sorts, they were just like limited questions and they just wanted to get into the depths of it. So first thing they asked is, uh, what do you know about 
Pareto optimum or rather Pareto optimality. So I just gave them a definition. That definition was not good enough. So a professor asked me, uh, what if this happens then? So I quickly realized that my, cho uh, my choice of words were not perfect. And that was the point basically where I realized that ISI is meant for people who are exact in their choice of words or rather not exact but precise in their choice of words and they measure what they are writing and saying. So I was further grilled down on Pareto optimality and it's linked to perfect uh, competition and uh, when would uh, you have a different kind of market environment and all sorts of things about Pareto optimality and perfect competition. And I thought that maybe they will move away from perfect competition uh, or rather perfect competitive market to something else in micro or macro. But they did not ask any macro questions. They did not ask any micro questions. Uh, and they said that your interview is over. And I was like, what was this all? about this was all of this about this all of my dreams about getting into ISI will it just come crashing down like this I wanted to salvage that but sadly that was not a job interview that was a IS that was an ISI MSQ interview and an ISI MSQ interview is not really a sales pitch you cannot convince that you are a good candidate. You have to be precise in your mathematical definitions and explanations. So I went back. Uh, so I came out of the room. I walked towards my uh, hostel room or rather the hostel accommodation because that was still not my room uh, with just one single thought that was all this pain and sacrifice and dream worthless, useless. But the moment I packed my bags and started going towards the airport, I made a promise to myself that I am going to come here. I am going to come here. And just a sec, ne next moment I realized that no dude, if your interview does not go well and you are not selected, you are not preparing again. This is your last preparation. I mean, Definitely, this definitely is your last year for ISI preparation. So I realized that, okay, let's, let's deal with it. I mean, your interview went a particular way and you can't do anything about it now. Let's, let's uh, keep bygones be bygones. So I came back to the airport, had my cup of chai in the airport, the Kullarwala chai in Calcutta, which is famous also in airports. Then I took a flight, came back to Mumbai and started thinking about what else I can do. I still had an offer uh, for getting an admission to CMI's MSc Data Science. So I was sitting with that offer of studying CMI Data Science, Masters in Data Science at CMI, Chennai Mathematical Institute. And that is actually what I wanted to do in real sense of the word, Data Science at that point of time. But the thing is, I also wanted very badly to get into ISI because ISI was my dream from my class 11 12 days and uh, getting into a uh, getting into an undergrad course at ISI uh, is a lot difficult because people in india who are good in maths they go to two places either iit bombay or isi kolkata so Getting into ISI Kolkata at the BSTAT level or the BMATH level is not that easy. So definitely I am not that smart in math. I know that I am good in math but still not at the top level. I am not at really, really like the top top of the mathematics talent in India. So definitely I did not qualify for the ISI, uh, ISI's BSTAT exam in my uh, class 12. Yeah, I did not... I, I probably did not give it the uh, next year because I have given uh, the JE exams for IITs uh, two times. Uh, one when I, uh, I was in class 12 or rather when I was passing class 12 and the next when I uh, dropped. 
So in the drop tier, probably I did not give ISI or rather I gave ISI in drop tier. I don't know which year, but I gave ISI's BSTAT exam only once. Uh, and after that, I have been uh, with this dream uh, of uh, get studying in ISI. But I never realized that what will I study at ISI because I only knew about BSTAT and BMATH uh, programs at ISI back in my class 12. And after that, I kind of uh, got out of touch. But only in the year 2013 or 14, I started to learn about ISI. I miss ISI's MSQ program. And then I started to uh, dig deeper and understand how to get into that program. And I gave ISI's uh, exams in uh, 2015, 2016. Both of these years, I did not qualify. So I gave again in 2018. So I have taken three shots at ISI. So this was my third shot. So I realized that this probably is my last attempt at ISI. So I thought that, okay, uh, studying at CMI is not that a bad proposition. CMI is definitely like what Bits Pilani is to IIT, CMI is to ISI. Now, I think this comparison is a bit controversial, but still, let's just take my perspective on that, right? So I thought I'll study CMI's MST Data Science and I gave the advanced deposit. So on 2nd of July, as you if you have already watched my how, how I got into ISI video uh, and uh, that video will be in the link somewhere here. You know that on 2nd July 2018, I got admission to ISI. Rather, I got an offer for admission to ISI's MSQ program. And that certainly is one of the most happiest days of my life. And if I have to say what contributed to the success, because I had taken few shots at ISI. 2015, 2016, 2018. So what changed in 2018? In 2018, I feel there were many factors. In 2015, I, I, I also took coaching help, but it did not help me. In 2016, I did not take any coaching help. It again did not help. I In 2018, I did not take any coaching help. But a big thing which helped me was a kind of mental peace, a kind of space in my home where I could study with a free mind, with uh, an attitude of nothing to lose, with a support system. Now that support system, that mental space was possible because of my marriage and because of my wife's support. Now obviously you, all of you students won't have uh, that kind of an option and I'm not telling you that uh, that is a shortcut to success but all I'm saying is that was my personal uh, reasons, one of my personal reasons to get into ISI MSQE. Now, obviously, after I got into ISI MSQE's program, uh, I realized that uh, these things play a good amount of role. So, no matter how bad your interview has gone, no matter uh, what your written test performance is, the results can be of anything because it's a combination of various things. The people who interview at ISI don't have an objective bent of mind. They, are, they are, analyze each of your statements. They analyze your scores in written test. And then they have some kind of a cutoff criteria. So I would suggest you to prepare for basic questions of micro and macro and maths and have confidence in yourself. And uh, probably I'll, I'll make a video on how to prepare for ISI MSQ interviews. In, not in this video because this will become too long. Okay, the video ends here and go watch my other videos and subscribe.